Hello, my name's John and welcome to my cooking channel. Today, we're gonna to make savory muffins. Now, if you've got some vegetables left over in your vegetable bin you wanna use up, I've got some zucchini, carrot, spring onions, and I've got some parsley there, which is rich in vitamin C. Um, and I've also got some butternut squash somewhere, so I might try and include that in there too. So, using up vegetables, and getting some vitamins in there too. Let's get going. All right, let's start with the dry ingredients. We've got two cups of plain flour, and to that we're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Let's pop in a teaspoon of raw sugar. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. I was thinking through all of these filmings. No one has ever phoned me while I've been cooking. I've just heard my phone go off. Or the, the silent vibrating part of it anyway. So there you go, it's finally happened. A teaspoon of ground salt, a teaspoon of ground pack pepper. That's all our dry ingredients. So we're going to put the vegetables and the milk and the eggs into this bowl and then we're going to combine them pop them into you. Muffin tray. Excellent. Right, there we go. I've whisked up three eggs there. Now I'm going to add a cup of milk. And then we're going to add um, all the grated vegetables once I've uh, grated them. Right, so that's all combined now. We've got the dry ingredients to add. And I'll just combine that over here. And then I'm gonna place them all here. And they'll go into the oven for at 180 for around about 18 to 20 minutes. Um, obviously these times are going to differ depending on how quick your oven is and whether you're using a fan or not. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I was going to make some joke about fans but I won't now. Um, once we've got them in the oven and cooked, I'll bring them out and let's have a taste. Well, here they are, all ready to go into the oven. I'm going to just dot a little bit of parmesan down on each one, not too much, just enough. I don't want them to be sort of like the fettuccine of muffins, just a little bit of cheesy flavour is all we want there. And then we'll pop these in the oven now. We're up at 180 almost. And then I'll come back when it's tasting time. Right, and here we are, they're out the oven. Now the only confession I've got is that when I tried to um, take these out of their little casings here, this is what happened the muffin came with it. So, bearing that in mind, don't use these paper liners and grease a non-stick 
tin instead when you're baking them. Otherwise, they taste absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think probably the, they will be enhanced by a little bit of cream cheese in the middle. Rightio, I will catch you on the next recipe.